you have no control over what people submit. You yeah. might find yourself in a situation where if you're not careful, you end up getting a lot of emerging technologies. So trying to strike the balance, make sure we have the diverse stocks. All of us are also trying to work together to come up with a documentation on how to host a PyCon. <laughs> yeah. We have a success story. The vice chancellor of the university was moving around and he noticed that late he saw some group of students. What are people studying like this? And Python Club, where they are learning how to use the Python programming language. They were like, no, it's not in their curriculum. It's a new programming language that it's cut across different sectors, different industries. And he was like, oh, he's really interested in this. Then our chair, uh, Mr. Aaron, he went over there. They had this discussion and he said that he would want them to include the Python in the student's curriculum since they have that yeah. interest. Next year, you get the opportunity to mentor those who are also coming new. Just having this kind of mentorship uh, mindset. Yeah. You give them opportunity to also come and talk about what they are learning during our PyCons. And in that way, you're not just training future mentors, you're also training future speakers. 